What is going on guys? Welcome back to Legit Looks For Life. My name is Tim. Thank you guys for watching the video. You guys are about to watch a brand new episode of Trip to Ross Dress For Less, guys. That's right, Ross. We're about to go inside, look for some steals and deals, look for some heat in there. You guys already know how it goes, man. Stay tuned to the end because I got some very special news that you guys are going to enjoy. Let's get into Ross and start hunting for the fire, man. So we're about to see the effects of the after Christmas sale. I don't know if they're going to have anything to be completely honest, but let's check it out. Okay, yeah, please tell me where the heat is. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Air Jordan 1s? In Ross? You gotta be kidding me, dude. You gotta be kidding me. For $50? Size 11 and a half? Air Jordan 1s? That's dope, yo. First come up, man. First come up. This is, this is, this is really clean, man. Check out this leather on this, man. Check out those pink accents on this, guys. This is a really sweet find inside of a Ross. That black jump man on the back. And those... Fresh blue bottoms, man. This is sick, guys. This is really sick. Yo, next up, we got some KD7s in here, guys, for $70, man. It's been a while since I've been at Ross, man, but honestly, I really am enjoying these finds, man. This is sick, dude. 12 Size 12 right here for $70, KD7 in here. Pretty nice colorway. Uh, pretty loud colorway, actually. I'm not sure what I would wear this with, but it's really, really nice to find a pair of KDs in here, man. You know, Ross didn't always have heat like this in here, but it's cool to know that we're actually finding some heat now. So let's put these aside for the heat locker. Let's see what else we got today, guys. Let's see what else we have in here. Yo, a pair of LeBron 12s. Yo, you gotta be kidding me, guys. LeBron 12s inside of Ross. Are you kidding me, man? Let's see what size they are. They're $40? They're only asking $40 for these LeBron 12s, guys. They look pretty big, though. See, it says a 12 in there, man. Let's see what size this is, guys. This is a size, what size is it? 16, guys. A size 16 movie, that's why they're so cheap. Because they are a really, really big size, man. But, yo, the finds are real today, guys. The LeBron 12s, dude, in here, for only $40, guys. See, he says a little 40 right there, man. The finds are real today, guys. This is just sick. This is a beautiful find, dude, nonetheless, of the size. Let's go ahead and put this aside for the heat as well, man. We're finding up some pretty good heat today, guys. As you can see, we already found three pairs of sneakers in here. Honestly, guys, I really do miss hunting at Ross, which is why I'm going to make the big announcement that I'm going to make afterwards. Make sure y'all stay tuned, guys. We're finding some pretty good stuff. Let's see what else we can find. Some Stefan Janowski's in here, size 10. And they are asking, I don't see the price tag on here, but there is another pair right here. Maybe they have a price tag right here. Another pair of the Stefan Janowski's for $40. Yeah, they are $40. And I believe these are the size 10 as well. So that's pretty nice. Yo, guys, we got some Kobe's in here, man. Some Kobe Bryant's, dude. I just let these slip on me, honestly. I didn't see them. Only $40 as well, guys. But, like, these are a pretty big size as well, dude. Kobe 10's in here. Size 17 and a half. All maroon. These are beautiful, though, honestly. I like them, man. If only they were my size, I wish. So bad that they were my size. But that's cool, though. That's really cool. Kobe's. How many Kobe fans y'all got out here, man? How many Kobe fans in a size 17 and a half? Comment down below. Yet again, another signature shoe find in here, guys. We have the Kevin Durant 8s in here, guys. Some KD 8s in this purple and green colorway. These are going to be $75 in here. Pretty nice. The bottom is pretty bright in here. But yeah, some Kevin Durant's in here for $80. What's good, KD, man? What's good? These are pretty sweet, man. These are pretty sweet. I almost bought some at the Nike outlet the other day. They were, uh, they had roses on them, though. They were pretty cool, honestly. Some more KD finds in here. Size 9, KD7s, EXTs, man. These are pretty cool. I like, honestly, I like the original KD7s better. But, you know, occasionally I found pairs of these inside of a Ross. And they're pretty cool, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, I prefer the KD7 better. Which one do you guys prefer better? Yo, check this out, guys. Stefan Janowski's in here, right? In a size 9. But it says W on it, so I'm guessing this is a woman's find. But check this out, man. You could tell... This thing's coming straight from Paxson in there. It says Paxson inside of there. That's crazy, guys. I guess Paxson and Ross are working together because I know I've seen like champs before, but like this is like straight up from Paxson. That's really, really cool. How it like says Paxson in there. And they're $40 here. And the original price tag from Paxson was $110. So, I mean, you can tell that you are getting a really, really good deal here. That's cool. Found some Adidas boosts in here. For $34. This is Boston Boost, but this actually looks like a woman's size. And um, Continental Soul, man. Gotta love that Continental, man. Yeah. 
females, if you're looking for running shoes, we got you right here, man, with those Boston Boosts. Just saw these right now, guys, but we have a pair of the Adidas SL Loops in here in this green colorway. Now, they are asking 40. You can tell by the big 4-0 on the bottom of the shoe. Uh, these are kind of crazy, honestly. They kind of remind me of, like, candy. But there was an era where I was, like, in love with the SL Loops. I bought my girlfriend SL Loops at the time, and I had myself a nice pair of black ones. But I gave them to my brother. But, yeah, man, a nice pair of SL Loops in here, guys, for $40 if you guys are into SL Loops. Okay, so now it's time to figure out if I'm going to purchase anything or not. So we have the finds right here. All of the heat that I found from today. These Jordans are $50. I've seen them online for $70 to $80. So I don't think that this would be a very good buy if I decided to put them up on my website. Because I would have to put them up for like $100. Because I have to charge shipping first of all. Which I wouldn't make very much money from that. Because you guys could probably get it for cheaper on like line and then we got some kd7s in here which these are a size 12 now honestly guys i want to start purchasing bigger sizes for the website but i need you guys to tell me if you guys are a size 12 or not like honestly i'm kind of scared to buy a size 12 because i'm not sure if they would sell or not these i'm definitely gonna have to pass on because they are a size 16 now these are a very very nice pair of shoes but size 16 guys there might be like one of y'all who wears a size 16 if even that guys but honestly, I'll have to pass on those. These KD8s, I see them everywhere. And honestly, $75, I think I can wait until they go a little bit cheaper, guys. It's not being cheap. It's just, you know, you got to be smart sometimes with your purchases. Because I see those literally everywhere. I see them at Marshalls. I see them at Nike Outlets. I see them everywhere. These Kobe's are a little bit too big for the purchase. Although they are $40, which is an amazing price for these Kobe 10s. But, you know, they are a little bit too big. Coming at a size, did I say 11 and a half before? I meant 17 and a half. 17 and a half a little way too big for me guys and then these things i've seen them everywhere um size nine in women's i'm not sure if you guys would be interested in those i've tried to sell them it took a little while and i've never had stefan janowski's up on the site before but nothing really here for me to grab too good honestly the only thing i'm really looking at is these jordan ones but like i said guys why would i want you guys to buy them from the website when you guys can purchase them from ebay for like 20 dollars more anyways these Ross finds were amazing, guys. Uh, it just really blew my mind, man. And I am really am inspired to go hunting at Ross more. Because now I know that you can find a lot of good stuff. Especially after Christmas. People are going to slow down on the purchases. Which means there's going to be a lot of heat sitting. So, yeah. that's It's just it's awesome in here. I'm going to continue going. And I have a big announcement to announce right now. So, as you guys know, we just came out of Ross. When I have a big announcement, and it has to do with Ross. So, I know that I just got back from a huge trip, and you guys know as well if you guys have been watching the vlog channel. Or, you know, I had some videos uploaded on here stating that I was in Miami. Or, not Miami. Stating that I was in Florida. And, yes, I was in Florida. But, now I'm back, and I'm going to jump on the ground, and I'm going to be hustling, guys. Like crazy. So, I am now announcing, guys. You know, we have the 12 days of Christmas, 25 days of Christmas, Vlogmas. Whatever you guys want to call it. I am now announcing on this channel the beginning of the 7 days of Ross. Now, basically, what you guys can expect from 7 days of Ross is a new trip to Ross every single week. I know that you guys really, really, really enjoy this series. And I want to make it explode for you guys. That's right. I want to visit a brand new Ross every single day this week. Today marks the first day of the seven days of Ross. Tomorrow will be the next day, the next day. And some of you guys are wondering, well, what about Sunday? You usually upload Snup Sneaker Steals on Sunday. That means Sunday you can expect two videos from me. The Snup Sneaker Steals and Trip to Ross. Also, if you guys have not already, submit your Snup Sneaker Steals for Sunday. So that way you can be number one. But yeah, guys, I announced to you guys the seven days of Ross. If you guys did enjoy this video, guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up. I know I didn't really cop anything today. I know you guys like to see me cop some heat, but honestly, guys, you can't expect me to cop something every single time I go to Ross, especially with these seven days of Ross. However, at the end of the seven days of Ross, I will announce my best finds for that week. And uh, it's going to be a really dope series. So stay tuned, guys. Today is the first day. Today has already been phenomenal because I think that, you know, today really inspired me to go to more Rosses. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next trip to Ross. And until next time, guys, hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Let's look for more steals and deals. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.